Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I'm hoping the audio is a little bit better this time. Um, because I did increase the audio. We are on episode two of the podcast. Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. My big baby. Yeah, my big baby. He's oh, my big baby. And there's my little baby. There's my little baby. There's my little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, today's episode of, well, I, I guess we, we've had two episodes today. I mean, I was, I was supposed to come up with yesterday, uh, yesterday, the second episode, the first episode, I mean, but issues with that, I, I couldn't find it on my hard drive, so I decided to remake it, and I, I guess something went wrong in, when I was making it, because it should have gone where, exactly where I wanted it to go. But it didn't. So I'm guessing something went wrong with it there. So today we are talking about... Well, we're still talking about school stuff. But we're also talking about Maine stuff. If you don't know, I live in the state of Maine. And in Maine, um, the prices for rent were astronomically high um, about a month ago. It was, it was incredibly insane... To think that these companies, you know, these rent companies... Are you going to break my shit? You better not break my shit. If you do, you and me are going to go. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I love you. I love you. My big baby. Big baby. Get down. Anyway, um, yeah, so, I, uh, yeah, rent prices were friggin' astronomical a little over a month ago. At, at the time I was working for Walmart, I've since left that job, or I actually I, I just stopped showing up uh, because I can't afford Ubers back and forth every fucking day. Uh, it it sucks, man. It sucks. I needed to get something closer, especially since I don't have a car or a license, you know. And uh, so I, uh, yeah, I, um, I do have a new job. I do have a new job, but. Pays a little less, but, you know, that's to be expected. But I am getting paid pretty well, actually, but I think I'm making sixteen fifty at my new job starting on Wednesday. So, sixteen fifty an hour, that's 40 hours. It's like 680 bucks. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, plus overtime. Yeah. Um... So here's the thing, people. Um, it is ridiculous how bad the rent prices were in Maine. Like, literally, you could find a two, a no, a studio, studio. I looked, I looked on prices for studio and Zillow because I, I, I don't trust Craigslist anymore because there's so many fucking fake um, Craigslist ads for apartments. On Craigslist, there's just so many of them, so many of them, and they say, "Oh, you, girl, congratulations, you're accepted. Send me a um, a check for like or or a moneygram or something." And I'm like, "Fuck you, guy. Fuck you, guy. You are a scam artist, and I've never ever seen something so 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 scummy, so scummy, man, so scummy." Um, but yeah. Or, or people who are, you know, just putting it up there, uh, talking about the apartment and wanting first month's rent and a deposit without even showing you the apartment, you know? And as it turns out, oh, they don't own the building. Um, 
I've never fallen for any trick like that, by the way. I've been like, how about a showing? I've been like, how about a showing? How about a showing? How about a showing? How about a showing? Okay? Okay? So, basically, I saw a apartment on, on Zillow at one point. Uh, it was a studio apartment in Portland, Maine, which is a uh, city right next to the city I live in, um, for about, how much was it? How much, how much, how much? It was about 12, no, no, it wasn't 12. No, that would, that would be, that would be good. Um, no, it was 13... Oh no no it wasn't even thirteen. God damn. Thinking of the three. Okay so okay so it was. I know you're like whoa what the fuck you just had a brain fart. I know I know I had a brain fart. Thirty two fifty a month. Thirty two fifty a month for a studio. I was like what the fuck is going on man? I don't understand. I don't understand how this is possible. How this is possible. And I just checked today. Okay the rent prices. Are a little bit better. Are a little bit better. Okay, it's just crazy how expensive they got. I remember when I first started looking for an apartment before I actually had some renters' history. Um, basically, I've been trying to search for an apartment in at some point in two thousand like two thousand seventeen, maybe sixteen. No, no, it was definitely 2017 or 2018. Um, and they wouldn't rent to me because I had no rental history. But the apartments were a lot cheaper. They were like 800, 700. And I had a job at the point, at that point, you know. I had a job. Um, and now they're like astronomically high and the apartments aren't even that great to begin with. So it... <laughs> It is what it is, man. It, but the the plus side to that is that if the wage that these companies were paying you was significantly less than what they're charging for rent, you know, that would be uh, that would be that would be horrible. It would be horrible if you were you were still getting paid like twelve dollars an hour. Right now, it's like fifteen twenty dollars an hour to get uh, a job here in Maine uh, and I'm serious it's like 15 16 17 18 19 20 dollars an hour uh, to start for for most jobs that you can find in this area and probably in other areas as well so yeah um, yeah so it's a, it's a weird thing um, I think the pandemic has helped a lot with that, you know, that we had, we had a pandemic, and if you, any of you were working retail, um, during the pandemic, it was like this weird thing where, um, people were buying a lot of toilet paper, and suddenly we did not have a lot of toilet paper, and people were putting out more than they were receiving. <laughs> you know, uh, we had to like put out every single thing that we we had in retail during the pandemic, and it was crazy. I was working at Hannaford at the time, and it was it was maddening. But they were, but, but here's the thing, guys. I got paid really well when I was at Hannaford. You know, I was getting paid like I was getting paid like first it was like one dollar an hour extra for every hour you work. And then it was two dollars an hour extra for every hour you work, and then it was like, and then it was like eighteen dollars an hour because we were on uh, emergency lockdown. It was freaking great, man. It was freaking great. And then we would get bonuses every quarter. Like I think one quarter we got a bonus, and then we got a quarter another bonus, or a, or a bonus net another quarter. It was fucking great, man. I was like, oh my god, but that was freaking great. I I got like. I got like 150 added to my paycheck, just out of the blue, just, 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 just because, just because Hannaford wanted to pay a bonus to their employees. I, I hear, uh, from from what I understand, um, people 
who were full time got like three hundred dollars extra, and I was like, God damn it, I wish I was full time. <laughs> and that's that led me to go full time um, at every other job I decided to apply to. So, um, you know, I worked at the Hannaford Warehouse. I uh, worked at Walmart for a bit, um, and you know. It, it's, it's weird because it's like, you know, working here has been a sort of great ride, you know, and um, when thinking about future steps, I'm like, do I want to stay in Maine or do I want to go elsewhere? You know, because elsewhere is probably a lot different than Maine. You know, it's probably a lot worse. And, uh, you know, those... I mean, Maine's got a little bit of everything, you know. Maine's got, like, film production companies, some pro film production companies. But I'd also like to work in Hollywood, you know. I'd also like to work on Hollywood films. So, it's very, it's very, um, it's very dif different. It's a very different thing, you know. You have to figure out what, where, where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, what your battles are. Um, and <clears throat> figure out what you want to do. Um... I am getting a bachelor's degree in media studies, a bachelor of arts degree in media studies, and I'm I'm considering doing a film degree or an intermediate degree or uh, some degree that deals with film and video production um, from some university. I haven't decided where yet, guys. I'm sorry. You know, I I I just have I just haven't decided yet. You know, I could I, there was one school that I found that's actually pretty expensive, but it's like they have a film degree that's a completely online. It's an MFA. It's completely online, guys. And it's like it's like you don't even have to you don't even have to do the filming. You just you just you just Put it, put it together and stuff, and 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 I'm like, you know, that would that would be kind of interesting. That would be kind of interesting, but you know, you're probably probably better off. It's probably better off just to, just to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the best thing to do is, you know, because you know, I don't, I don't really want to leave Maine, but I kind of do, and you know, I haven't decided. I haven't decided. Uh, plus, this other college, it's called called uh, Academy of Art University, is in San Francisco. Um, it's an online MFA uh, degree in film, and it is a MFA, right? It's the whole 60 credit curriculum, uh, but it is a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive. Uh, than public colleges because it's a private college. So I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, <clears throat> I don't know at this point what I'm gonna do. Um, I mean, I'll figure it. I'll figure it out. I'll be like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this because it's easier. We'll see how. We'll see how this would choose. I mean, I really don't have to worry about this until like maybe a year from now, when before. You know, when I'm about to graduate from uh, University of Southern Maine, um, I don't really don't have to worry about this too much uh, until then. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, leaving Maine. Um, you know, I, I've had uh, some second second thoughts about it. You know, and uh, you know. I gotta say, it's 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 kind of been a weird thing, you know, to be able to think about, you know, hey, you know, Maine is a, a different type of area, you know, a different type of uh, environment than, for example, I've been in Wisconsin, and to go anywhere in Wisconsin, you have to drive, uh, whereas here in Maine. Everywhere you want to go, there's a bus. There's a bus. Um, you don't need to drive several several aisle or miles. Um, 
you can get anywhere by either walking or uh, a lot of times you will have to drive if you want to get into like go to the um, bigger cities uh, I, I'm not going to say actually I'm not going to say bigger cities because Portland's probably the biggest city in the state but um, from like the northern cities I, I guess you could say um, you're going to have to have a, some sort of transportation whether that be a bus you know, Greyhound, um, something like that. You know, it's it's one of those things. Just one of those things, guys. Um, so this is in episode two of the podcast. Uh, I'm glad you were able to uh, stick with us, and you know. Uh, We are working on episode three eventually. Eventually, episode three will come out. It'll come out tomorrow. I, I promise. I promise. I know. I know. You're just like, I want it to come out now. I want it to come out now. Well, you have to wait because I have to wait because I have to. Okay? And I am. Am I going to be able to sleep tonight? Am I going to be able to sleep tonight? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. You know, because I don't feel tired. I don't feel tired at all. You know, I, I just don't. I just wish I did. I wish I did, okay? Anyway, I appreciate you coming on and uh, watching the pod, the new episode of the podcast. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.